Hey guys, welcome back. So diving into another episode of Micro Academia, Season 5, Episode 90, or Episode 2 if you prefer. This one is called Vestiges. So we started a new season. First step, pretty much just about uh, a drill at the school. So all the kids are out there doing their thing. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going on with the plot at the moment. So it's just early stages. But I'm hoping that it's a decent ride. Like I said, I've seen a lot of commentary over the last few months about people not really enjoying this one too much but I'm not going to take that on board because like all art it's subjective you enjoy what you like it doesn't really matter what other people think and, and so far for me I've really been enjoying my hero academia so without further ado let's just dive into the episode so as you know this is a time of best reaction so grab your copy watch along we also have a patreon with early and exclusive release content you find a link to that down below with all my other socials like twitter and instagram so come say hi okay straight into it no mucking about three two one go That's oh, right, Endeavor is, um, he's a mesh. Oh, that, that's right, Scarecrow dude turned up. You know me. Dobby, 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 the house elf. I love his character design, I always have. He's so creepy. So Hawks is going in. But he's going to give it a red hot crack. Ooh. <laughs> Bunny Girl has arrived. And hopped over. What the hell? NG Todoraki, is that the first time I've heard his name? What was that? What the heck? NG This is just the beginning. So he's laying in bed, beat up, just recalling the events of that day. Is he gonna lose an eye? I really want to see him with an eye patch. Although, once he flames on, he needs to get one that's flame retardant, I guess. How are you? Are you good? Right now here, I'm just going to give you a, a weather update for Sydney, um, March 2022. We've had unprecedented floods all up and down the east coast of Australia. Uh, a, a big rain system... And they're referring to it as a rain bomb has been dropping months and months and months of rain in a day. So we have had flooding where the water has reached over 14 metres deep. Like, it's over roofs. It's, it's awful. I just thought I'd share that with you. If you're watching this on YouTube, God knows when. This is just a little historical weather fact for you. For those of you on Patreon who live internationally, yeah, it's pretty fucked up right now here in Sydney. It's still hot though, like it's the first day of autumn. Well, yesterday was the first day of autumn, it's now the 2nd of March. It's still hot, I still need the fan on because this room gets so humid. How you doing? <laughs> this is just me killing time over the opening credits. I should watch them more often because it's like the only second, like the second time I've seen them. Oh, that's right, he's he's working with him. Right? Oh, that's right. He 
He's betraying everyone. Unknown but performance test. A random strong guy, not the number one. <laughs> Surprise. Working together. I'm okay, just got a bit of a scratchy throat today. So Hawks is talking and working with the villains. Bastard. Right, Intel. Learn from the past. Wait, they asked him to go in? Wait, wait, wait. So they asked him to go into league with the villains. Okay. He's undercover. Okay. Snatch. Oh, he's... What? He's bleeding underneath his... Is it like... It's stitched on. What's it covering? What is it? It's like Leatherface. Okay, his eye works. No patch. Just a nifty new scar? Mm-hmm. No, not at all not at all, but Oh good grief. I'm fine, I promise. It's just itchy. Get help. Grab some kids. How long does it take for his feathers to grow back? So interesting to see him without the fire all over his face. Okay, a little bit of backstory for Hawks. Oh, he worshipped in Devon.
How does he get a shirt on with those wings? How does he how does he get his jacket on? I'm I'm asking the hard questions. He's like Velcro. Okay, so Endeavor's new scar is there permanent? It's his new look. Oh, her hair is kind of like her brother's, but like highlights. <laughs> They're just staring at him. I can hear you. <laughs> Wow. But he is not. He's trying to, though. Okay. Wow. Scars run deep in this family. Change takes time. Yeah, not in one day. Oh, look. Look, boy. Got a shirt. So he's winning over fans. Yeah, this conversation was pivotal. That was a very important moment. But yeah, give it time. A 
must guarantee their future. So he's really trying to atone for all the shit he's put his family through. Interesting. Is Deku a zombie? Hmm. He died. After the drill. And the training. Oh shit, the dream again. What the heck? The nine? What? The vestiges of one for all, okay. No, you're not complete. Right. Seven people. Eight. They've all had it. Oh, he's the ninth one. Oh, okay. Young? The first. Oh shit. Fangs won't stop crowing. He's taking their powers. Well, yeah. But he didn't have any power. He transferred it. Okay. It went wrong. You don't. Wow. It's not right. I can bring order with my power. That's my brother. Don't hurt my don't hurt my bro.
Oh, he had no powers. So he was born without powers. Oh shit. Yeah, you gotta keep going, guys. <laughs> Damon King All Might What the heck? Oh, he's putting a power into him. Oh shit! What did what did he? What did he do? Belly. Are these people dead? Oh. Is this like the second time he's had this dream? Or is it, was this like the first time he's had this dream? Because I'm just wondering if he's going through a lot of glass. Okay. So he saw a little bit of um history with One for All. And the vestiges are... People who've inherited the power of like, All Might, right? They've had the power. Days gone. Spirits of the past, right? And they kind of appear to those who had the power now. You're not alone. It's so one for all's brother. I've got a lot of questions. Like, nothing's really been answered right now, but... It's interesting diving into the, the lore of it a little bit more and exploring all for one. Curious. I'm 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 curious to see where it goes. So having a a day out at the convenience store. Somebody's going to have a birthday. Next time. A combat training. We have a special participant, and Deku is like very excited to see them. So we have whoever that is, um, yeah. So kind of just opening up the door to what the story is going to be for this season about All for One and the the eight vestiges. So just exploring the lore of this power and what it means. I was getting real um, Shazam vibes from from DC, the the Captain Marvel 
I don't know why that just like the gods watching over Shazam or used to be known it used to be known as Captain Marvel, but there's one in DC and there's one in obviously the the Marvel universe, so they just refer to him as Shazam now, which was a great movie with uh, Zachary Levi. But I I enjoyed reading the comics as a kid. I watched the TV series as a kid. It was called Captain Marvel. It was pretty awesome. He about uh, Billy Batson who says Shazam. He gets all the powers of the, the Greek gods of legend. So yeah, as um I don't know why. I mean it, it doesn't really have anything to do with that. But I was kind of getting those kind of vibes from this episode. So I don't know if the vestiges are going to bring something different. Well, that's what I mean. Like, are they going to bring something different to the the wielder of the power of today? That's kind of what I was alluding to in my head. I don't know. It's just what I was thinking of was the vibe I was getting. But I'm sure I'll find out in in, in future episodes. But yeah, damn, it was still cool. Like the second ep in, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see as to what the story is going to be this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, please do what you do. Discuss below, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.